Hi there. This picks up right where part 2 left off, so no need to worry if there's a time skip or some shit like that. I've held off a bit on this part since I think it's not really that interesting compared to the previous two, but I didn't feel right just leaving it off at part 2. Anyways, sit back, grab something from the kitchen, and listen. Directly after graduating from basic training, I and about 40 others I was familiar with left Illinois for the sunny shores of Pensacola, Florida for job training. Since we were all undesignated, meaning we don't have an official job so we're free to look into whatever field interests us and then go into it, we were supposed to be there for only two weeks or so and then leave to be officially stationed somewhere. Our school was delayed in opening, so we pretty much remained there for just over a month. So what exactly was Pensacola like? I'm going to sound a bit ridiculous, but Pensacola felt a lot like the military version of a college fraternity. I'm not joking. The atmosphere from what I can recall was so relaxed that for the first time in a long time I was able to speak to an officer without clenching my asshole out of fear of being yelled at for whatever reason. Outside of attending classes and the occasional mandatory exercises or chores, we had so much freedom that sometimes I struggled to believe I wasn't in college. Even then, my classes were basically nothing but going over aviation basics, fire and corrosion countermeasures, and other general shit. I know that sounds fancy, but trust me, it's a lot fucking easier than it sounds. Otherwise, I was free to just stay in my room all day like a piece of shit. The weather was phenomenal most days, so there were often times when even I was tempted to go outside and just enjoy the day, especially when our barracks had a volleyball court right outside, complete with sand pit. The food was absolutely top notch, so much so that even here in Japan I find other people that miss the food back in Pensacola. I found it utterly ridiculous how I had switched from an hour by hour planned day to a go to class, then do whatever the fuck you want kind of experience. That isn't to say that absolutely nobody give a shit, because that would be a lie. Rules and such were in place, naturally. For instance, vaping was highly discouraged, mostly because it was banned. Anyone caught with one would be punished and yelled at by the commanding officer herself, who was otherwise a very understanding and surprisingly easygoing officer. Cleaning was another thing. To avoid being slobs, all of us took turns cleaning the barracks, in intervals of four days, with one different group responsible for cleaning each day. As boring as having to clean a four-story building sounds, you'd be surprised how much fun it can be when you have over 50 people all with a questionable sense of humor doing it with you. To put it bluntly, there was never a day where I didn't have anything to do. On the rare occasions that I was bored, all I had to do was look to the sky, because we were right next door to the headquarters of the Blue Angels, who would often be overhead doing tricks and shit. Even when that wasn't an option, all you had to do was find a marine and strike up a conversation, because marines are known to be a bit interesting, to say the least. Anyways, the month or so I spent in Pensacola was an absolute blast, so much so that if I ever receive another opportunity to return to Pensacola, I'd take it in a heartbeat without a second thought. Following the short amount of time I spent in Pensacola, and after having visited family for 15 days, I then flew up to Washington State where I was to temporarily remain until my flight to Japan would arrive. My stay in Washington was too short for me to say anything substantial about it, other than Washington is a beautiful state, the type that makes me consider wanting to retire there 60 years from now. Washington was just as relaxing if not more so than Florida, mainly because the facility where I was temporarily staying at was actually quite small. To put it simply, Washington was a week-long vacation while Florida was a month-long almost party. Thank you for watching.